we're going to do make a pipe, piping spiral, um, and to make the piping spiral, we need to we need to be um, find the bias on the fabric. So you need to fold the uh, the fabric over and make a fold in it, so that you've got the um, the bias of the fabric. And then along that line, we're going to do a chalk line. Now you notice that I've started the chalk line at the corner. It's important that the lines don't go down into this triangle down here, but only come along the, the length of the fabric. The fabric has to be longer than it's wide for this to work. And the idea of a piping spiral is that it, um, it allows you to cut a lot of piping uh, with only doing one seam rather than joining each separate strip in a, in, in a seam so it makes it a lot quicker. Now what I'm draw doing now is drawing parallel lines down the length of the fabric um, and they are one and a half inches apart and that one and a half inches is going across in this direction. Now it works well with this ruler because this is the length the, the width of my ruler so it works really well if you haven't got a ruler that is this width you have to mark put marks on like this and then join them up obviously it's quicker if you can do it with a with a ruler that's the right length now you can carry on drawing these lines down the whole length of the of the fabric I'm just going to do um, a, a few at the moment and then I'm going to number the lines. That's number one, this is number two, this is number three, this is number four, this is number five, this is number six, and this is number seven. Now, the way the piping spiral works is by joining number number one line to number two line, so you have like a, a spiral shape. And to do this, you have to put the fabric, fold it up so that you've got the two long lines coming together. And then we're going to pull this back so that number two goes to number one. And I'm going to put a pin in here. The pin goes through the line, so you put the pin through the line and join it up with the pit with the line on the other side and then carry on joining these two long sides together and you should find that number uh, three line joins up with number two line and so on down the the length of the fabric now I'm going to machine this together and um, and then we'll do another video to show you how to cut it.